Hey guys, it is time for a reaction video. I've seen she's just doing these at the moment because they're quite fun to do actually. And this reaction video is for Avengers Infinity War Part 1. Well, it says on here Infinity War, first look. So it could have scenes from the first half or the second half. I don't know. I have no idea what I've got ahead of me. So here we go, guys. I hope you enjoy. creation itself, there were six singularities. Forged into infinity stones. Oh, okay, it, it's so behind the scenes, day, basically. It's actually pretty unbelievable. Oh. Day one of what promises to be a year of fun-filled lensing. I remember actually going to see the first Avengers with one of my best mates from home, and I so never have dreamed that I'd ever... Everyone's in it, basically. It's not just the Avengers. I feel like I'm you got the world. you got Star-Lord. You've got Spider-Man. Oh, my God. What we always try to do at Marvel Studios is we're building the cinematic universe is look at the big picture, how can things relate across movies and across years. Avengers Infinity War is the culmination of the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe as started in May of 2008 with the release of Iron Man 1. And it really is an unprecedented culmination of a series of films interlinked together, which at the time had never been done before. And for us, the important thing is making it all come together. We know they're going to face Thanos. We've been setting that up since Avengers 1. How do you do that in a way that is unexpected, that pits the Avengers against somebody who is more powerful than anyone they face, and yet make them completely unprepared to face him? Well, tear them apart, which is why we did Civil War before Infinity War. As we were conceiving and, and executing Civil War, the end of that movie was very much a setup for what these movies would be. We always had the sense of that. Tony is not talking to Steve. The Avengers are basically a name with nobody in it. The world is vulnerable. Tony senses this greater threat approaching, and so he is doing everything in his power to keep the Earth safe. Thanos shows us why he's the biggest, the best, the baddest villain that we've ever had, and the most frightening villain that the Avengers have ever faced. The most exciting part is the incredible roster of well-developed characters, and it's going to create a really combustible, exciting, massive-scale adventure. You know that we're onto something within the studio when we hit upon an idea or we see a piece of concept art, and all of us in the room go, this is cool. And in Avengers Infinity War, the Avengers will meet the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yay! Oh, that's because be good. Because of what they have done over the last 10 years, these next two Avengers films will be an event like no one has ever seen on film before. Okay, <laughs> that is so, that's really exciting because they finally confirmed that the Guardians of the Galaxy are going to meet the Avengers because it's exciting because they're actually confirming now with this that the Guardians of the Galaxy are going to meet the Avengers and it's always been rumours over the internet for the past couple of years since the Guardians of the Galaxy was released. That was quite good. It's nice to see it as, you know, just from the point of view of the producers, the directors, the writers, to see what they want to happen but not giving us full details of the plot. Ah, that's amazing. Oh, and it's cool that Spider-Man's in it for definite. You know, Guys of the Galaxy, Iron Man. I've got a feeling, if not sure, if you see that picture of Wanda Maximoff, there's a blurred picture next to her. I'm 
I'm not. Either it's my eyesight, or it was very bleary. Um, it was Bucky, so that means he's going to come out of his hibernation. Is he going to be, you know, Bucky, or is he going to be the Winter Soldier? So it would be nice to see all these characters in one film. It's going to be like one massive party, I think, for them. <laughs> oh, one film, two films, two films. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, lost my glasses. I don't know, it's going to be cool. I hope, but it's just, they've literally just started production January 23rd this year. It's going to take a year from what Robert Danny Jr. just said. So, we've got ages. Mm. At least there's good films coming out this year, so I'm not going to be distracted of waiting for Avengers Infinity War. I'm going to say something really controversial now with comparing Marvel to DC. I like DC and I like Marvel, but I prefer Marvel because it's funnier and there's, it's more relatable. They're based in real places, New York, London, um, anywhere really. With DC, you've got, you know, you've got the best side of it is their make-believe worlds. You know, you've got Gotham um, and it's just... I prefer to be able to relate to it because it can, well, no, it can't happen, but it could happen because, you know, we're imagining it in real life situations in real life New York. And I don't know, it's just Marvel appeals to me more. I get bored with DC because I find there's a lot of talky bits in it and there's not many talky bits in Marvel. There is, but they're relevant to the, to the plot. So, I hope this is going to be amazing. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh. So guys, I hope you're all well. Can you pop a comment down below? Which you prefer? DC, Marvel? Why? Tell me why. Don't bite on my opinions because it's my opinion, obviously. What's your opinion? I hope you're all well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this and take care. Bye.